On the answer desk, uh, a lot of questions. Could vaccine passports be coming to Connecticut and do businesses even want them? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino went looking for answers. He is joining us live tonight in Weathersfield. And Mike, what did you find out? Well, the governor's office told me today that we're still in the early stages of looking at this technology. But of course, that then invites questions about how it might work here in Connecticut, including whether natural immunity should also count towards mandates. More and more businesses and events are requiring customers to show proof of vaccination. Vaccine passports could help make that process smoother. But will businesses welcome the technology? I think it's more there. I think it's more that it's a piece of technology that the governor, you know, sees and the team sees as, you know, a way to make it easier. The Connecticut Restaurant Association sees the potential benefits. We asked the governor's office where things sit on having vaccine passports. A spokesman said Governor Lamont and members of his administration recognize the need for private employers and businesses to have a uniform and reliable method of verifying vaccine status should they choose to require proof of vaccination. The governor said last week that this is something that the state is in the very early stages of exploring as a tool to assist the private sector. I think the biggest news, you know, talking with the governor's team directly is, you know, they're not looking to do any mandates. Like restaurants, some event venues require vaccines. Live Nation does. And the Excel Center and other venues owned by the Capital Regional Development Authority will mandate it if performers want that. The CDRA said we're tracking the industry and monitoring developments in other locals in regards to this. I think uh, in, infection acquired immunity is real. There's also debate on whether natural immunity from infection should count towards mandates. Yale Public Health Policy Director Howard Foreman says it's a controversial take, but he thinks it should. He says natural immunity is effective. I don't want to talk anybody out of getting vaccinated, but I just want to allow for the possibility. But Foreman acknowledges challenges. For one, we know less about how long natural immunity lasts. Doctors also say testing to prove immunity is not widely available. There are tests out there that actually you can use quantitatively. They're just not available in commercial labs. Now, Foreman says studies show uh, vaccines give you better immunity even if you've had a prior infection. He also says one reason we don't know more about the lasting immunity of natural uh, infection is because we haven't done the same widespread clinical trials that we've seen for the vaccine. Live from the mobile newsroom, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.